Hi people, I'm Carson, I'm the Teleprop and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, I want to talk with you today about three things, a little update about my Tiger Tank, um, about new stuff from AK Interactive and about a uh, new Facebook community. Very interesting stuff. Um, I clean my table now, drink a coffee and uh, catch you in a second. Yep, people, now we are back on my workbench. Uh, yeah, this is my Tiger 2 tank. It was the first time that I worked with uh, the one effect from AK Interactive. Um, and I think it was uh, successful. Yeah, it looks not so bad. I made my scratches with the brush here and uh, all over the tank. Uh, I'm happy with this one. Looks not bad and... Uh, yeah, I want to see how it works uh, and the next time it was the first time and uh, yeah, I'm happy with this one. I used the uh, um, wash and uh, streaking grime from AK Interactive. And I hope it's not too dark. Uh, this is most time a problem for me if I'm working too strong with uh, the washing and the streaking grime it's going too dark or too much yellow but it looks like in a moment like a tank who was running uh, was driving through the battlefield for a long time and uh, shooting many times and uh, yeah it's not bad and I used um, the oil colors from 502 Abteilung this one here um, I saw a technique for kind of blending uh, I use this one here on this part here I was here working with a little bit white here and here I was working with uh, uh, dark rust and um, with shadow brown to make a little bit different between the white parts and the dark parts and uh, I hope you can see this one here in the uh, here in my room because the light is not so good but I think you can see the difference between here I was working with white here one too and here with the dark one it's not a bit different but it's enough to make a difference I mean you can see the parts now where the lighter parts and where the darker parts and uh, I like this one looks like a little bit dirt and dust around there um, I must work a little bit more around the uh, equipment, around the tank. Need uh, a little bit other look. Want to work with a little bit, um, uh, with it gun metal, and um, yeah, want to see how it works. Just the tank from the side. I used uh, Africa Core wash from AK Interactive. This, it was not so dark. But brown, but strong enough to to show the details and uh, yeah, it looks good. This is the front side. I used two different colors uh, for the scratches. The first one was um, this one here, the chipping color from AK Interactive, and uh, this is one of the new colors from uh, Tamiya this one here it's a dark iron it's a nice color I like to work with that color and uh, yeah I made my scratches and the chipping with both colors ah yeah I want to show you uh, the rusty tracks here on the side I tried to use uh, all colors here it I think it looks not so bad. I like the color. It's uh, it looks good, but um, I think the only problem is I must wait maybe two days before it's dry. And um, I like the color, but to wait 48 hours it's it's boring sometimes to wait and not to work more around the same parts and. On the other side, I used uh, acrylic colors 
from uh, from Valeo and uh, what I used not both Valeo and uh, Tamiya, Tamiya colors. It's a little bit. It's not real uh, rusty colors, but I want to work with the one effect over uh, the tracks and then white color, and then I want to make some uh, scratches with the brush and want to see how it works. And uh, yeah, this is the other side. Yeah, I think in a moment it's not so bad. Yeah, must work around the, uh, the equipment and around the tracks here and uh, bring in more dust inside. The back side looks like this. And... Nah, it's, 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 it's a test in the beginning. It's a test how the one effect works and how I can work with this one was a little bit different. You need a little little bit of feeling, but I, but I think it's if you're working the first time with a new uh, tool, you have to see how it works. Yeah, this is my tank in a moment, and yeah, need a little bit more work, and uh, hope I can show you a nice tank maybe next week. Okay, that's all in a moment. Catch you in a second. News from AK Interactive. Uh, looks like uh, AK Interactive has in the future now two different kinds of colors. One color is for uh, for the airbrush. Looks like there the color is a little bit more transparent. I don't know. Uh, you can use this one very good for the modulation technique. And there is another color. It's for airbrush and for brush. Uh, and um, AK Interactive type. It's a color of. Uh, for a high degree of uh, coverage, uh, maybe there are more pigments inside, they're a little bit thicker, but uh, you can use this one for both, for brush and airbrush, and you don't must dilute this one. Uh, sounds for me like uh, there's one kind of color that looks like a little bit like candy colors, and the other colors are normal colors, and uh, yeah, I don't know. This is what they typed, and uh, we want to see. And uh, in the future, they have they have uh, eight uh, different um, primer colors: the gray, the dark yellow, white, black, Russian green, red primer for jump tanks, desert sand, and olive drab. These are all typical World War II colors, uh, but maybe it's interesting for. Uh, yeah, for people playing dust tactic or painting uh, the miniatures and uh, the walkers from dark, uh, dust tactics and uh, why not? And uh, also they have uh, acrylic thinner and uh, you, yeah, you can buy all the stuff around March. I think if they're typing March, you can buy this one maybe April. I'm not sure. I was the oh, last uh, two years anytime, well, less, yeah, one and a half, last two years, anytime happy with uh, the equipment from, um, with the colors and the oil colors, the acrylic colors and the oil colors from AK Interactive, I was anytime happy with this one. The quality was okay and uh, was always uh, nice to paint with the acrylic colors. Also, uh, I was happy with the... Uh, um, all stuff, the um, one effect and uh, the washes, yeah, the, the, these are all good. These are all good tools, and I can use this one very good. And uh, I want to see how it works with the uh, new primer in, in eight different colors. Um, yeah, these are the news from AK Interactive. If you want to see how it works, I tried to catch some equipment from AK Interactive. Um, around March, April, to show you uh, how good they are, or maybe not. Yeah, that's all from AK Interactive News.
WGC Facebook community site. Um, if you want to see nice pictures, uh, how the people are painting miniatures. If you want to uh, talk with the people or type with the people about airbrushes, which one is good, which one is not good, or want to talk about uh, colors and, and how to paint miniatures. Uh, I think the site is now one week online I'm not sure but there are tons of informations on the site it's uh, it's a nice site uh, I think Chang is 24 hours uh, watching the site and he's helping the people and uh, it looks it looks like he's always online <laughs> and you can see him uh, every day it's it's a very nice site the site is very helpful if you're interested in wargaming uh, in painting and both or uh, everything around uh, the wargaming stuff uh, also for other modellers if you're interested to see how other people are working or what kind of technique they're using what they are, they are using and um, I can recommend uh, to join this group uh, because the site is very helpful you have uh, nice people there the important thing is the people are friendly and if you are some people they're helping you and they give, they give you the best help what they can do and um, that's the reason why I like the site for me as a beginner uh, in uh, painting um, sci-fi and fantasy miniatures uh, is this site very helpful because I can see how other people are painting and what they are doing and I have all the stuff together I don't must uh, look uh, so much around like like on 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 youtube you're watching uh, this channel and this channel and this channel and this channel and um, it looks like you can find all the stuff uh, on one side uh, on uh, on the uh, wgc facebook community site um, yeah i like the site that's the reason why I make uh, uh, this part of the video for uh, the WGC Facebook community because the community is in a moment it's only one week but it's it's going around it's a very nice community and uh, yeah that's the reason why I make it um, yeah that was my video uh, for this Sunday and uh, I hope you like my video and please subscribe uh, what you think about my tank and about the news if you want to hear this one or if you think this one is boring and yeah that's all in a moment please subscribe have a nice day and i hope i catch you next time bye bye news from interact um oh scheiße fängt ja gut an ey ich hab wieder dieses scheiß wort vergessen Jetzt muss ich das wieder nochmal sprechen. Das kotzt mich an. There's a new community on Facebook. It's a WGC Facebook community site. A uh, very nice site. And uh, mein Gott, Gina, uh, Luna, halt die Klappe. Mann, was machst du denn? Die Katze schreit die ganze Zeit rum. Hältst du jetzt die Klappe? The other kind of paint is for the airbrush and uh, for the uh, normal brush. Was geht denn da? Ich nehm auf, ihr blöden Hunde!